What's up? What's happening? What's popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Smo with the Smith Swords. I'm Smo, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, you haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. The second link is to shop the official Smo with the Spin Shorts merch collection get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, the Jalen Maker Hurst tee, or the brand new fly or die crew neck. This crew neck comes in white, black, and green. So make sure you guys shop this. You know what I'm saying? Get this drip before the season start back up in the August. Well, it's gonna be warm when the season start back up, but you know what I'm saying? When it starts getting to them cold winter time games, make sure y'all got y'all heat on. You know what I'm saying? I also have a giveaway going on right now on my channel where a, two subscribers will get some merch for free. So make sure you check out that giveaway. It's on the shorts page if you haven't already. But guys, let's get right into this video. So today, the Senior Bowl happened. Today is what, Monday? The Senior Bowl happened on Saturday. And it was a lot of stock risers uh, from the Senior Bowl, as we knew was gonna happen. We knew once the bowls come around, the East West Shrine Bowl, um, the Senior Bowl, and then the Combines come around, a lot of these guys, um, these, these guys that are entered into the draft, their stock can really blow up in front of these scouts and they can show the scouts what they can do up against um, the same level or better competition than you know their smaller conference or smaller school or whatever. But guys, we gotta talk about some prospects that the Eagles fans, we need to keep some eye, our eye on because there's some guys that really shot up the draft boards after their performance in the Senior Bowl, the Reese Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. So some of these guys can be going from Mobile to Philly. You know what I'm saying? So let's first start off talking about Jermaine Johnson. Now, Jermaine Johnson is somebody that I've talked about already on this page before. Um, one of my subscribers dropped him as a um, first round draft option for the Eagles, a defensive end, because you guys know the the defensive ends in this draft are like the hot commodities in this draft. Um, Thibodeau, Aiden Hutchinson are supposed to go top three, top, no later than top five. But then both of those guys are supposed to be um, no later than top five, but top three. And this is a very pass rush heavy draft. That's very top heavy. But at the same time, we know that the Eagles need... <laughs> We need some edge rushers, definitely. Um, our sack rate was at an all-time low, and most of our sacks were coming from the interior, from Fletcher Cox and Javon Hargrave. We just wasn't getting that pressure coming off the edge, and that's something that we have to put an emphasis on in this draft. Now, I want to start with Jermaine Johnson. He is a defensive end out of Florida State University. He originally played with UGA. Then he ended up transferring to... Florida State, and I think he spent time at a JUCO. He was actually on Last Chance U, the show. So he has a very storied background, but he finished his playing career in the ACC. Uh, Jermaine, now when we spoke before, Jermaine was giving me very much second round pick. Um, but now, y'all, after the Senior Bowl, they're saying Jermaine's stock has shot up, and Jermaine now is giving very much late round, first round pick, or first round pick. Now, we have three picks. There's a scenario where we can end up getting Jermaine at number 19. Now, I would have been mad before because he was given very much second round pick. You can go watch that video I did on him. But now um, I'm going to read you guys and show you guys some of his highlights from the Senior Bowl. His stock is really shooting up. So he was on point all week at the Senior Bowl. It wasn't just the Senior Bowl where he shined. During the practices, the warm-ups, the drills, Jermaine Johnson was on point. So they say he won majority of his reps at practice and in the Senior Bowl. He plays with great power and great ease and with a great IQ. They're saying that this guy really shot up the boards. And like I said, now he's given very much early second round, but they could see him going in the first round now. So this is a guy that we can keep our eye on. Just depending on where we go, 15 and 16, this is a guy that we can keep our eye on that, who knows? We don't get the guys that we want defensively at 15 and 16. We might end up getting old Jermaine at number 19. Now, I don't know if it's a reach for him at 19, but this all goes down to drafting for needs and whatnot. We know we need to come away with the edge rusher, and it might be Jermaine Johnson. But the next two guys on my list are guys that we haven't talked about before, so let's go ahead and start talking about them now. 
So safety, Jalen Petrie out of Baylor. So they said he was the top DB in one-on-ones in coverage this week and during the, the Senior Bowl. He's extremely physical and has great feet. Now we know we need a oops in the safety room. We know we need a oomph in the secondary overall. Now Kyle Hamilton is expected to go the, the top safety in this draft. Kyle Hamilton is expected to go top 10. And I'm saying at least, like, Kyle is not supposed to expect you to go past um, top 10. So unless we're trading up for Kyle Hamilton, I don't see us getting, um, I really don't see us getting a safety in the first round. So that's why this guy is really piquing my interest, Jalen Petrie. And we're going to get into the scouting report because, like I said, they say he was the best DB in coverage um, in one-on-ones. And I'm going to show you guys the highlights, of course, during the Senior Bowl. And like I said, unless we're getting a safety out of free agency, we definitely have to get a safety out of the draft because I highly doubt Anthony Harris is coming back. He was not an impact player at all. Roddy McLeod is old and, of course, battling with so much injuries. We haven't given Caval Wallace. And I hope Caval Wallace definitely gets more time and reps um, going into training camp and going into next season because we really haven't even seen all what Caval Wallace can do. But, of course, we just need an oomph in the safety room and we need to come away with a starter this offseason we need to come away with a starter as safety um because like i said if rodney mcleod anthony harris isn't coming back we need that depth and we need a day one starter wherever it comes for free agency or the draft so let's get into Jalen's scouting report so Jalen is six feet tall 197 pounds like i said he went to baylor so they say he labels like a defensive back in safety. Um, he lines up everywhere in the box on many plays. You can find him rushing off the edge or sidestepping blockers and making stops against the run. But he can also drop back and make plays and coverage as well. So what is his projection in the NFL? Does he have the near limitless potential of a true modern hybrid? So like I said, he's six foot, 197 pounds. And they expect him to add weight when he gets to the NFL because he'll be somewhat undersized working in the box. The good news for him is that he no doubt compensates with his physicality. He plays larger than his frame and his play strength is better than expected. He's willing to square up with larger blockers and maintain gap discipline. He can also brush past chipping tight ends and swallow up plays in the backfield. He is a violent player um, in close quarters and doesn't let size mis mismatches intimidate him so they say he has excellent instincts um he's great tracking down the ball um but yeah so like i said there so for his areas of improvement they say his size of course does hinder him at times he's only six foot tall his smaller frame sometimes impacts his ability to wrap up as a tackler y'all know i hate that i hate when somebody can't bring somebody down you know what i'm saying i hate that he also can get knocked back by larger blockers and sometimes struggles to disengage blocks in a timely manner. So yeah, it just seems like his, his size is the biggest downfall for uh, Jalen. But like I said, he was definitely a stock riser. Um, he proved well in coverage this week at the um, Senior Bowl and they were just praising his footwork, his physicality, and they say he was the top DBs, one of the top DBs one-on-one -on -one in coverage this week. So, like I said, Jalen is somebody who is going to be, I feel like whose stock is going to be rising. We might can find him. I don't know where he projects um, round-wise, maybe second round, third round. I'm not sure. But Jalen is somebody we can definitely keep our eye on outside of the first round going to get that talent. Now, lastly, again, this is somebody we talked about. Um, wide receiver Christian Watson out of North Dakota State University. So, sorry guys, my camera died. I mean, not my camera, my microphone died, as you probably can hear. So, bear with me. But, like I said, Christian Watson is the last guy I'm going to talk about. And the reason why I'm talking about Christian and so excited to talk about Christian is because this is somebody that the Eagles were interested in before the Senior Bowl. So the Philadelphia Eagles put out an article before the Senior Bowl and they put out 10 offensive players to watch in the Senior Bowl. So that just goes to show that and Christian was one of those players. So that just goes to show that the Eagles obviously had their eyes on Christian Watson and he performed very well. So I think the so Christian is six foot four, two hundred and eleven pounds. And I think the biggest thing um, some scouts were looking for out for him senior bowl wise was his footwork being so big and his um route running 
and he proved that he could do both of those very well at the senior bowl so he's definitely a stock riser he showed his footwork at the line of scrimmage you know he got a little juke 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 but Christian is somebody that I'm definitely interested in because he is the prototypical big body X wide receiver that I really think that the Eagles should add to their wide receiver room. Whether it's via draft or via free agency, I definitely think we need to diversify our wide receiver room so we don't have the same guys with the same build. Um, we have a lot of small, speedy guys, Devonta Smith, Quez Watkins. Um, so I just really think that we should kind of diversify and get that big body X receiver because we had it in Travis Fulgham. Then, obviously, for some random reason, we didn't bring Travis Fulgham back. Jalen Rager was supposed to be that, but we know how that worked out. J.J. Ortega was supposed to be that. Alshon was that, and he was great. And Alshon just obviously got old and retired. But we haven't had the traditional X receiver, traditional wide out. And I think Christian could be that guy. So, it was good to see that he performed well because that's somebody that the Eagles were looking out for. And he, you know, showed what he could do. But y'all, these are three players to look out for. Um, like I said, they all had great senior bowl performances, not only at the bowl for these three guys, but throughout the whole week. And these are three positions that the Eagles should definitely come away the draft from the draft with. Defensive end, edge rusher, pass rusher, whatever y'all call it in 2022. Um, straight up guy that can get to the quarterback. Per um, a safety, and then also a X wide out. Big body, big body receiver. But y'all make sure you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also make sure you check out the mini links down below and turn your notification bells on. Also let you, let me know what you want to see in my next video. And until I talk to you guys next time, bye.